You are listening to letters from a father to his daughter. These letters were written by Jawaharlal Nehru to his daughter Indra while he was in jail. I am your host Giri Bala Joshi. Please subscribe to my channel and click the like button. In the previous letter, we learned about the big cities of ancient civilization. In today's letter, Nehru especially talks about Egypt and Crete. Letter 20. Egypt and Crete. What kind of people lived in these cities and villages of early times? We can find something about them from the great buildings and structures that they made, also from the writing in stone tablets which they left. Then we have a few very old books which tell us a great deal of those times. In Egypt we still have the great pyramids and the sphinx and ruins of enormous temples at Luxor and other places. You have not seen these although we were not far from them when we passed through the Suez Canal. but you have seen pictures of them and probably you have got picture postcards of them the sphinx is a lion with a woman's head it is an enormous thing nobody knows why it was made and what it represents the woman's head has got a strange faint smile and people wonder what this smile is about to say that a person is like the sphinx means that you do not understand him the pyramids are also enormous structures They are really the tombs of the old kings of Egypt who were called the pharaohs. Do you remember seeing the Egyptian mummies in the British Museum in London? A mummy is the dead body of a human being or animal to which oils and spices have been applied to prevent it from decaying. The bodies of the pharaohs were made into mummies when they died and were then placed inside these great pyramids. Near them were placed gold and silver ornaments and furniture and food. because it was thought that they might require them after death two or three years ago some people found the body of a pharaoh whose name was tutankhamen in one of these pyramids there were many beautiful and valuable things near him in egypt also in those days they made fine canals and lakes to take the water for irrigation and agriculture there was specially the famous lake meridu This shows how clever and advanced the ancient Egyptians were. They must have had fine engineers to build these canals and lakes and the great pyramids. The little island of Crete or Candia is in the Mediterranean Sea. We passed near it when going from Port Said to Venice. On this little island there was a fine civilization in the olden days. At Knossos in Crete there was an enormous palace and we have the remains of this palace still. In this palace there were bathrooms and water pipes which some ignorant people think are modern inventions there were also beautiful pottery and sculpture and paintings and fine metal and ivory work in this little island of crete the people lived peacefully and made great progress you must have read of king minos who got into great difficulties because everything he touched became gold he could not eat because his food became gold and what is the use of gold as food he was punished for his greed in this way this is of course a fanciful story it is meant to show us that gold is not such a fine or useful thing as people imagine the kings of crete were all called minos and the story must be about one of these kings there is another story of crete which you may have heard it is about the minotaur which is supposed to have been a monster half man and half bull it is said that young men and young girls were given to this monster as his food I have told you before that the idea of religion first came through the fear of the unknown and because of this fear not understanding nature and much that happens around us people used to do many foolish things it is quite possible that boys and girls were sacrificed in this way not to a real monster because i do not think such a monster ever existed but to an imaginary monster all over the world in those ancient days there was what is called human sacrifice that is men and women were sacrificed to imaginary beings whom people worshiped in egypt girls used to be thrown into the river nile because it was thought that this would please father nile fortunately human sacrifices do not take place now except perhaps very seldom in some far corner of the world but even now some people kill animals and sacrifice them to please god it is a curious way of worshiping anybody End of letter 20. In the next letter, Nehru discusses the ancient civilizations of China and India. 
on this channel you will find all kinds of information related to Nehru. I am Kiri Bala Joshi. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel so that factual, rational and historical information can reach even more people.